Whoa, 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 look who we have here. This is Auto Rock and Racing 94 bringing you NASCAR Heat 2. It is opening day, well, game day release. Here, as I like to call it, I'm not the biggest gamer in the world. I just usually do videos and see whatever happens. So, this is episode 5 of Running Out of Talon, and I'm playing NASCAR Heat 2. As you haven't, if you haven't realized, so. Without further ado, I'm going to do the very first thing that I wanted to do since I got this game is go to the Xfinity series. Yes, I'm not going to Eldora because everybody wants to go to Eldora. I'm not going to pick William Byron. I'm not going to pick KBM when I do drugs. I'm going to go way far. I would like, I'm would like. i not going to pick Jeff Green, by the way. So I'm going to pick the one, the only, badass Mike Harmon from Bur Burlingport, Alabama. Veterans Motorsport Incorporated. Why Mike Harmon? Because... Why the hell not? It's Mike Harvin. He's badass. And the first race I'm going to do is Bristol. In honor of his 15th, of the 15th anniversary of his horrific rack. So I decided, let's do Bristol. And look at good old Daniel Suarez in the number 18 car. No, there's no Kyle Busch in the Xfinity Series, which is kind of odd. Because, you know, he's the king of the Xfinity Series. He's the ultimate cup leech. And first of all, I'm going to give my fuck, my fuck you to Subway. Because, because, Why? Why? Why you leave? Just because of donuts? Donuts. Really. We're in, the, we're in an era where a rival product or a quote-unquote unhealthy product is going to drive a healthy product away. So, fuck Subway. I'm interested in donuts. So, why I go here at Bristol Motor Speedway here at Bristol, Tennessee is to put Mike Harmon to the front. Without further ado, let's get it going. Let's see how bad I am here. In this sports car engine. Hello, Timmy Hill. All right, I'm gonna pick this. Let's change this. Oh, Ray Black Jr. Oh, well, there you go. Damage a bump into JJ Yaley and the Tri Sports car. There's good old Bubba Wallace. Hit the brakes here. Oh, look, BJ McCloud. I don't want to run over him because you know he's a badass too, like Mike Herman. There we go. There's a rear view mirror. Garris Midley, Ryan Sieg, William Byron, way far back. I'm surprised he's actually far back. Okay, first impression, it feels a little bit wobbly, wicked, a little bit loose. Not too tight like a NASCAR Heat Evolution was. Well, that's a good thing because every time I played NASCAR Heat Evolution, it felt wicked tight. Oh, I hit the wall. As the difficulty right now is at 97. Hang on to it, Mark Harmon. Well, I ran out of tally here, but since it's a 39 lap race, I got plenty of time. That's good old Rochester State, Mr. Watermelon, number four. Give it a little tap because. Mike Harmon's a badass. There's Casey Kane. Still a free agent in the NASCAR, I mean the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. Where will he end up? I have no idea as I get into Brandon. Morgan Shepard! What's Morgan Shepard doing in 16th? No. What's Morgan? Well, well there's a problem right here. Morgan Shepard's in the top 15. He's not even parked it yet. Maybe he wants to win. Jeff Green is in 15th. Is this 2000? Anyways, uh, don't get in the heartbreak before he's gonna derp on me. Harbrick's loose. Oh no! Ran around those the 74 and I fucked up the bumper. Well, it didn't take. Oh, not surprised that I actually wrecked. Oh, get out of the way, Brendan Poole. Jeez, they're, they're still bunching up big time. And I just ruined Morgan Shepard's race. I ruined it even more. And I. Yep, looks like we're not gonna win here at Bristol. Booyah! I'm, gone, I'm coming back. All right, 28 laps to go. Easy on the throttle. All right, now we're getting we're getting there. We're getting a little, we're getting better. We're getting better at this. We're getting better at this here at Bristol Motor Speedway with my badass Mark Harmon. There's Eric Jones, the goat. No wait, that's Brandon Jones. Duh. I was dealing with Brandon because I don't know why I said Eric Jones. Here's the thing about this game that would be nice if there's. People with the same last name put the lettering in there. Like, in the, look at the rear the windshield. The rear windshield says B. Jones, as in Brandon Jones. Oh, hey, Brandon Jones, not too pleasant with me, not too happy with me. See, even at a 97, I'm having a little bit of a rough going. Should have break. Sorry, William Byron. And around he goes. I have it on no cautions right now, so if they spin and there's no caution, then, well, there you go. No caution. Feels a little too tight for me. I put it on expert. You know, I'm not the ultimate gaming expert, but I just want to challenge myself to see how I do. Get out of the way, Timmy Hill. You're a lap down. 
there. Oh, Carl Long. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. All momentum gone. It seems like short tracks are not my style. That's like what, what that's like how Mike Harmon cheat Mike Harmon cheated death at Bristol, and then I could cheat myself for a win. Oh, let's get off the apron. Yes, Brett, I get it. I'm trying to be easy on everybody. We got 19 laps coming up. 19 to go. Running in 16. Rasha staying in the way. Get out of here, Melonhead. My karma coming through. All right, now I'm back where I am. There's Kevin Harvick. If he wrecks me, I'm gonna pay him back. There's what a bugger, Dave Starr. There's Ray Black Jr. I'm not gonna run over Ray Black Jr. because maybe maybe you'll think what I did is harsh, like he said to me on Twitter once. True story, by the way. I hit the wall. Casey Kane. Oh, Casey Kane getting loose. Getting that side draft. One thing I'm kind of bummed out, there's still a limited amount of numbers. They need to really update that. I meant, I really wish you can choose the numbers that are not used in the, in the trucks, in the cup, and in the Xfinity. That would be a, that would be a nice improvement to have for next year, or if they bother to put it on the pat on future updates. I really want that to make it be possible. Why is Bubba Wallace running in 29th? He should be running in 6th. Here comes JJ Yaley, three wide, three wide. Get out the way, get out of the way, JJ Yaley. Jeez, I put myself in that situation, so it's my fault in that regard. Hey, look, Road America winner Jeremy Clements. Oh, bump. Oh, Stephen Light, get out of the way. You haven't won in a decade. Oh, Clements is all over the place. I've got to use my badass mentality. Hey, look, BJ McLeod is in 26. Really good run for him. For his standards, it's a great day for him. It's like Mike Harbin is exceeding expectations, running in 10th. Let's see if we're going to use this generic camera, because I feel like maybe I'll actually stop wrecking people, or stop hitting the apron. Okay, we're going to use Matt Tiff as a pick. And look, Timmy Hill again. Dry, running like Derek Cope out here, getting in everybody's way, and lap traffic. Notice the but notice the back bumper of my car's car. You notice the sink sticking out. That's the only but that's the only minor complaint that I have about the damage run is that sink sticking out. It just looks odd. It just really looks odd as we're five laps to go as we're catching up on Blake Cook. I hit the wall again. This is not Darlington. This is this is Bristol. I gotta stop hitting the wall. Oh, too hot. So far so good. I'm not too disappointed about this game. It feels a little bit tight. But. Oh, there he is. There's the GOAT, Eric Jones. Oh, Joey Gates, get out of the way. 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 Ah, I hit the wall. Eric Jones is going to be mad at me. Oh, and I get a, a little love tap by Blake Cook. Three to go. Let's try to get seven. Oh, I did not want to do that. Oh, look, Sparks. Yeah, there are sparks in this game. And here is Eric Amrola, the probably soon-to-be driver of the number 10 Ford for Stuart Haas Racing as Smithfield is leaving Richard Petty Motorsports. And Danica Patrick will not return to Stuart Haas. It's about damn time. I'll talk about it as we go on. Jones, Jones, save it. Get out of the way, Dylan Lofton. Get out of the way. Damn lap traffic. I wish they kind of move out of the way, though. I kind of wish they move out of the way. That would be a nice thing that they could work on. Lap traffic being ass. But then again, in real life, they kind of are ass to the rest of the field. As we're in the white flag lab, I'm going to lap Ray Black Jr. one last time. It looks like I'm going to come home in fifth in my first ever race on NASCAR Heat Evolution. Ran out, ran, ran out of talent every now and then. But I bounced back for a fifth place finish in my first outing. Top five for Mike Harvard. You'll never see that in real life. Eric Almarola with the fastest lap. Huh, he did but a bit. Ty Dillon won. Harrison, what the fuck? Harrison Rhodes in second. Brandon Brown in fourth. A back marker beat me. How the fuck does Brandon Brown finish ahead of me? This is badass Mark Harmon we're talking about. Stephen Lane with a top 30 effort. Good for him. 
No, it, that's bullshit. That's some bullshit right there. Brandon Brown beat me. No, unacceptable. Unacceptable. Who do I want to pick? I think I'm going to pick Joe Nemechek. I'm going to pick not Eldora. Pick it later. Let's see what I want to go. I, let's get, let's get, I'm going to try not Talladega. Hmm. So let's see. Let me try Homestead. Let's try Homestead. I really hope he gets experience and soon enough, maybe about five years time, he'll be a cup driver. Hopefully, a decent cup driver. Because I feel like he's had, he's, I, I don't know, I have this weird feeling that Bowman and maybe Ryan Trex Jr. can have that Mark Martin effect where, you know, before Mark Martin became the Hall of Famer, he had a, he had a rough first stint in the Cup Series, known as Winston Cup at the time. Then he went back to ASA, and he had a really good year in the Bush Grand National before Roush picked him up in 1988, and then he became full-time again onwards. So without further ado, let's try to put Joe Nemechek from the back to the front at Homestead. And as I'm thinking about Homestead and Nemechek, let's win one for John. Hopefully I can win one for John here. As the green flag is out, we are underway here at Homestead. 17 left. Let's see if I can work. put Joe Nemechek in the victory lane at Homestead Miami Speedway. Wish Nemechek did one here before. Oh my goodness, I hit the apron. Well, that sucks. Yeah, arrow is over. It's over. Oh, that sucks. We're going to have to... Oh, Nemechek, keep it up. There we go. Well, that sucks. We're parking it. Just like in real life, we're parking it. Alright, take two. And we are underway here at the 4200 here at Homestead Miami Speedway, which is surprisingly on daytime, not at night, which is kind of a little bit of a bummer. Can I wish they added a night feature for the trucks and the Xfinity series? That's one little minor nitpick that I wish they could have implemented to make it a little bit more realistic. Oh, don't hit Brandon Brown, the guy who beat Mike Harmon at Bristol. This Ross Chastain in a 66. There is Spencer Boyd, in my opinion, it should have been Jordan Anderson in that truck. But then again, it's the Daytona roster for the most part. Yeah, 20 years ago, John lost his life at this track when it was a flat surface and also shaped like Indianapolis. And then it was also known as the Miami Motorsports Complex. It's a sad situation that. John lost his life. Obviously, John Hunter Nemechek is named after Joe's brother. Right now, on and then Nemechek were to win here shortly thereafter in the Bush Series. I'm going to try to do the same favors in the Truck Series. Oh, careful! It's right almost made contact with Todd Peck. Oh, hey, look! It's Austin Cindric. Hello, Austin. I heard you. I heard you took out Scott Speed in my home track. So here's here's my salute to you. I'm gonna give it a little love tap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little I'm gonna put a little bumper. Use your head next time, Austin Cindric. And he saved it, so he did use his head. Hey, look, Tommy Joe Mar just decided to top ten. I'm sure he's gonna be celebrating with a cold one in social media if he ended up actually in the top ten in real life. Oh, look. I'm not sure if you can see it, but look closely. There's some scratches on the windshield. Hmm. Nice little detail. I'm impressed. Hello, son. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go by you. In case you're wondering, I did not park. I'm gonna actually go win this race. As a matter of fact, let's run together. Let's try to get a one-two finish. Let's see. Let's see if my. Let's see if the sun listens. Well, change my mind. I'm gonna win the race myself. That's Chris Eggleston, talented driver. The fact that he led every single lap in Monroe is really impressive for a short track. There's that craft ten. I'm trying to hold it by not hitting the apron. All right, we got 11 laps to go. I'm dealing with Todd Gilliland. Look, he finished eighth. He caught a tire. He finished eighth, but that was his worst finish of the season. Now he's probably on his way to winning another championship in the k and West. One recently. Oh, I'm gonna try to put free wide with Todd Gilliland and Talladega winner Grant Enfinger, who in my opinion is a pretty underrated driver. If I don't hit Todd Gilliland, I think we can make it through. Joe Nemechek trying to put a bump, trying to push it. The Put it shit hard and trying to get a lap. Ten to go. Oh, they made contact. 
doesn't feel tight. It's, it's relatively stiff. I feel like the truck's running kind of smooth. It has a little bit of a loose element, which is, which is not bad in my opinion. I like running a loose car, not too much tight, because when it gets tight, I lose all sorts of momentum. Here's good old Ryan Durex in fifth. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me JJ Yaley's the leader. Please tell me that's... Or Austin Wayne's self. Oh, no. It is JJ Yaley's the leader. Austin Wayne's self is right in front of me. I'll be damned. That's the only thing about the truck seems, it seems like the ones that are running really good are the ones that are not good in real life. They're usually run by mid pack all the time. Like, I think it was Jeff Fabiano's video that had... Tommy Joe Martins win a race. Wendell Chabois win a race. I'm not sure if it's Chavez or Chabot. I say it's Chabot. It's kind of like how people say it's Martin Roy, but it's Martin Roy. It's a Canadian thing, kind of like with Chris Benoit. Instead of, instead of, if, instead of saying Chris Benoit, it's Chris Benoit. Oh, hang on to it. Trying not to put Austin Way stuff in the wall and then clip Timothy Peters, even though he's not in this game. It's, it's a bummer deal that Timothy Peters made the intro with that Texas flip, but not in the games. Because unfortunately, Red Horse Racing shut down. I feel like I think not shut down, there would have been 34 playable trucks. Instead of just the regular 32. And there is Christopher Bell. Good old Christopher Bell. I'm actually... I'm actually He's come a long way in the truck series. I felt like last year, I first was like, oh, great, he's going to be wrecking. He's going to have bad luck. He's going to be gone. No. He, he adapted, he's adapted really well in this truck. So if anything else, he's my championship pick right now. If I were to start a cup team I, uh, with a young guy, I'll bring in Christopher Bell. I think he'll deliver. Imagine him and Matt Kenseth being in this team. I think it'll be a pretty good combination, don't you think? The AI is kind of a little bit easy. They are spreading out a little bit as the race progresses, which is nice. Add some realism. Riga Smith leading the fucking race! Well, it's going to be NFL for Ian Smith if I have time to catch him. I still don't know how J.J. Neely's in second. Let's see if I'm going to either be smart or I'm going to tap J.J. Neely. Like, Nemechek did the Steve Park in the Winston in 2000 over a block, a bonehead, uh, or a daring block. Oh, get off the apron. Get off the apron. Three to go. And a fast lap, which I feel like tire grip is still a little bit of a problem. As, as, you, as the race progresses, it should be slower, not faster. Eh, doesn't really bother me much, but this is, I know people are get complain about those little things. Let's see, I'm gonna let's see what I can do here. It seems like I'm on, the, I'm on my way to victory lane if I don't mess it up or I don't get in the ring. It's maybe he's giving me the whole lane. So well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be a Kyle Larson. I'm gonna go on the outside with two laps to go. I'm gonna have to pick my move. And you know, something about 2018, that 92 truck's probably going to be the best Ford truck. Because BKR is going to be gone. So there's not going to be many Ford trucks in the field now. Which is kind of, which is kind of bummed me out. And it's kind of unfortunate for Brad because he just bought a new race. He had, he had, he, that new race that he had was recent. He just recently got it. Like, this, this year alone, the end of last year. Now he's going to shut his, his prize. prize. Kind of with Kevin Harvick. Except I kind of understood why KHI went shut down because now that he was going to be a far, he wanted to spend time up with Keelan and then also do his job. All right, white flag, no bullshit. Here we go, white flag, sponsored by. Oh, I'm not going to say sponsored by Credit World Bank. Fuck that shit. Oh, look at this, Riga Smith. Oh, don't hit Riga Smith. Battle of the former Cup veterans, Joe Nemechek and Riga Smith. They're coming to the back straight away for the final time. This is going to be like Kyle Busch and KO KO. They're both in the wall. But we both save it. And the crowd are booing. And probably the comments are going to call me out on that one. But Joe Nemechek wins at Homestead. And Joe Nemechek wins the 4 200. I'm actually impressed I got a 1 on 1. Let's see, Nemo. Oh, yeah, if I went a little bit deep there and getting a little bit loose. See, I got loose and I went under, and that's why me and Regan got together and ultimately won. Didn't really want to do that. Oh, look at this epic battle for second. Regan Smith and JJ Yaley. It looks like Regan Smith is going to hang on to that one. So, second for Smith, Yaley in third. I won the race. Yeah, yeah, motherfucking yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look at the photographer. He has a NASCAR.com superstore. Uniform. 
I never knew they sell photos of Victory Lane. But yeah, Joe Nemechek, even though that guy looks like Matt Crafton with a full shade of beard. And as you can see here, as you can see on the on the panel, it does have the John Hunter. I mean not John Hunter, John Nemechek number tribute decal. So that's a little nice touch and a good homage that Joe re rec uh, remembers his brother. Especially this is a, at the end of the day, it's a good win. Joe Nemechek wins at Homestead at the track that his older that his brother lost his life 20 years ago. Good for him. Oh, Rika Smith finished seven. What happened? Did the replay fucked up or something? Because Regan Smith looked like he was in second battle with J.J. Yaley, except J.J. Yaley dropped to six, and Truex finished second, Christopher Bell in third. And Tommy Joe Martin gets a top ten, so he can brag about it on social media. And Sean Hunter Nemechek finished 11th. Huh, that's interesting. I don't know why they finished that far back unless they got a time penalty like it's Formula 1. Hurry the fuck up, click on my video. Otherwise, we're not going to let you play my beer car. Hi, I'm Brad Keselowski. I've been watching you out on the racetrack, and you've made some impressive moves. NASCAR needs more drivers like you. I hear you want a shot in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. I don't have a seat available in my trucks, but I know a few contacts that might be able to help you out. Let me see if I can make you a few calls. Let's do a little quick career mode. Let's see what we got in the hot seat. Of course, we're definitely not going to run Daytona, because you never run at Daytona. It's going to be Atlanta. See, there you go. The first my validation. Let's see who won. Bullshit. Brian Duzant, the motherfucker who failed to qualify in real life, who only drove two truck races in that, that hunk of truck that I remember Ryan Ellis driving a few years ago, won this fucking race. What the hell happened? Did, was there three, four big ones, three red flags, and seven trucks left in the field? That's the only way this fucker would win. Bullshit. Next. Atlanta, let's see what we got for the Atlanta Motor Speedway. There you go, offer receive. Let's see where I'm gonna... Oh no, Jennifer! I'll, I'll, I'll consider it, but... Let's try it, why not? Let's run Jennifer Joe Cobbett. Oh, look at this! It's the paid bum, Cody Coughlin! Big motherfuckers like you, it's why Cameron Haley and Timothy Peters' career are dead. So what I'm gonna, without further ado, I'm gonna make Jennifer Joe Cobb look decent. In his number 10 truck. Will I ever pick in in real life? No. Unless you're cold fucking trickle son, then a pink car will work. Let's put Jennifer Joe Cobb to a top 25 finish. It's a fulfill your fantasy match. This the good old TJ Bell. Wish I did not find out till recently that he ran open wheel racing. Thank the Frisky Nixon video to prove validation that he drove open wheels for a short period amount of time. Oh look! The winner of Daytona is at the back. I'm gonna put a little bump on around him because they say, fuck you, you do not deserve the win. And that 28 truck, even though it's a mean looking truck, when Ryan Lattler strobe it, gotta have the super truck series look. Oh, man, I'm all over the place. I'm a little bit too loose. I'm wobbly all over the place. Okay, Brett, I, I don't know, I'll do what I can. Oh, there's some contact between Ross Chastain and Todd Pick! And I'm in the back. I pretty much fucked up the whole thing, even though Ross Chastain and Todd Peck were running door to door to one another, and I just got stuck in the sand. We got Brett told me to stay in the middle. Still full throttle. There's TJ Bell again. I'm working my way back to the front. Again, this is in 97 difficulty. And because the patch is taking an infinity amount of time to, to download, it, this is pretty much all for now. This is just pretty much a little bit of a glimpse of career mode because everybody wants to do career mode right now so I'm going to give you the glimpse as well as I try to put Jennifer Joe Cobb in the top 25 do I want to put the needle I think I'm going to thread the needle there's Brandon Brown who beat Mike Harmon I don't know how and why whatever get a listen to that engine sound I am easy. I'm getting that old restrictor plate vibe with that engine sound. If you listen to it, I put, I, I put the sign, I, I was quiet on purpose. So look, here, get a little close listen to that mediocre GT sports car sound.
and it sounds like the restrictor place, sort of. And I lift off the throttle, I have to go in pretty much full throttle for about five laps now. Chase Briscoe, get back in the line, get back in line, why you need to go to the apron? This is not Kansas! There's Wendell Chavois, Chavois, Chavis, whatever. I call him Chavois, because I feel like that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. If I butcher it, I apologize. He just needs to spin or wreck and bring out a caution and... Oh, get off the apron. Get off the apron. Oh, hey, Cody Coughlin. Yeah, man, guess what? You're about to be embarrassed because I'm putting Jennifer Jo Cobb's truck to the front. Well, if, if in your standards, it is the front, but this is mid-pack. Which is good, which is, I don't mind running, I know I'm expected to suck in career motor, that's right off the bat. But difficulty being a factor a little bit, but... I need to check on my settings, because I need to see if it's on Legend, or on Veteran, or on Easy, because I don't know why I'm running this good. OH NO! God damn it, I choked it harder than Tony Romo! Come on, pick up the throttle, pick up the throttle! What are you doing? Oh, Corbin Forrester nearly died again. You know, this is a don't don't pull a Tina Gordon in Atlanta 2004. Look at that, I went from 18th to fucking 26. I choked it like Tony Rowe because I was a fucking idiot. Oh, hello, Ross Chastain. TJ Bell, we meet again. Let's feel like we're gonna we're gonna be together. Oh, Nitro Circus, nice. He's got some. He's, this truck has got some pretty good. Wait, is this Nitro Circus? It should be, it should say Nitro Circus. Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong, isn't Travis Pastrana running a truck race soon in Vegas? I don't know, I feel like he is. I swear they made an announcement about Travis Pastrana running a truck race soon. As I get by, TJ Bell, it's got a nice looking truck. There's Spencer Boy again. Good style. Ugh. Grunt style, strong style. Corbin Forrester off the pace. You know, he's going to be the last car winner here in Atlanta. Because there's only 31 trucks. Carry on. Alright, we're coming to a white flag. I'm running in 22nd. I had my objective. It could have been a 7th. It could have been better. But uh, I decided to mess that whole thing up. Ran out of talent. Choke harder than Tony Romo. Had my oh no Jennifer moment as somebody's won the race. Somebody's already crossed the finish line at first. Because I'm 28.5, 28.4 seconds behind the leader. So we're trying to hang on. Coast around, get 22nd. Not going to beat Austin Hill. I beat TJ Bell, which is good. Man, could have been a little bit better for my first outing in career mode. I had some promising. But it is what it is. 22nd. Could have been a lot better. I needed 87. What a whimper. That means I'm trash. Trash. Garbage. Garbage. Look, I want to go underneath. But then there it goes. Then I went under. They up. That's all my fault. It got in the window. Chabois. Eh, some punishment for contact. Could. Regan Smith wins the fucking race. And Tommy Joe Myers gets a top 10. Oh. Fairly accurate result, except for Tom Joe Martins, of course. All right, I meet the objective for the top 25, so I get $10,000 and 16 followers. Good, not too bad. And we're back to no man's land. No offer here, of course. This is like every other week you get an offer. And the winner, it there. See, see what I mean? Todd fucking Peck wins the freaking race. Mark, what happened? Was there like a a, a, a traffic jam, a bad one that everybody decided to wreck, and there was like two red flags out of it. Jeez. Unless it was a rain shorter race, and then Top Peck decided to stay out of it. Just like Chris Busher and Casey Kane in the past, they won the freaking race by beating somebody out of pit road. Let's see what we got here. Nope. Dang. No love just because I drove Jennifer Joe Cobb's truck. Let's see who won this one. What the fuck? What the fuck? Corbin Forrester won the goddamn race at Kansas. Big Kamikaze is celebrating big time right now. Let's see what we got here. Alright, we got an offer at last. It is Clay Grinfield. Oh, Charlotte, right. I don't know why it's on a Thursday. 
top 25 for Clay Grinfield. I'm not going to run right now. Hope you enjoy this video of Running Out of Talent Episode 5. So until we meet again, I'll catch you all later.